And we get back to that Fox News alert, the mass shooting in Florida. Jacksonville police are reporting multiple fatalities after a shooting at a Madden 19 video game tournament at the Jacksonville Landing Mall downtown. Uh, police there are saying that one shooter is dead, but local and federal authorities are continuing to search the area for any other suspects and for any victims inside. Now, our Fox News Houston multimedia reporter says that her friend was inside and says that he has friends who were killed. Uh, he said a gamer lost, who lost a game, yeah, went crazy and started shooting up the room. And he joins us now on the phone. Uh, first of all, thank you for joining us. And tell us what you saw and what time did all of this happen? Thank you for having me. And I would say this happened all around maybe two to three hours ago. Okay, so around 1 o'clock Eastern time. So tell us what happened. Right. What did you see in here? Uh, so personally, uh, I actually had just stepped outside to make a phone call, but I was right at the, the gaming event that it was at. Um, I saw the door, like, bust open and, like, three or four girls kind of, like, fall over themselves to get out of the establishment. And at that point, I didn't know what was going on. But I can tell by a look on their face that they weren't, like joking around or anything like that so uh, a good friend of mine i can kind of like recognize his voice as it was happening i heard him start to yell i'm hit get help i'm hit get help and he just kept repeating it um at that moment i didn't know where he was because the building was like i feel like he was on the opposite side of the building but with people starting to run i just literally started to do the same and you started to run did you see if there were uh, security guards who were already there who were running to where the shots were fired no man there weren't security guards however once i started running I, I started running to my my car so as i started running to my car i can hear police sirens coming downtown in the direction they're like, coming full speed ahead and uh, my phone rang and it was a good friend of mine who was actually watching the tournament on stream so he was kind of like watching it all go down on a 20 second delay and he just called me and the second i knew that he was calling me that i knew that there was like something for real going on because he was like are you okay and i was like what just happened so he was actually able to tell me a little bit more because he was watching the stream right it was being live streamed tell me this you said that you had just stepped out to go make a phone call take me back to when you were inside of this area how many people were in there roughly was it really crowded was it standing room only give me an idea yeah yes yeah, it's, it's pretty much generally standing room only except for the competitors themselves uh this is also kind of like a, a bar as well so they have like that business part of it as well so there were plenty of seats for that and i'm sure there were people just eating lunch at the time that it all happened who had no idea of a matter tournament at all but uh the room was probably this was the second day of the tournament and as a result of that there, were, there are people who've been eliminated already so there were about 50 people i'd say in the building and which, we were, which it would have been bigger if it was the day before it would have been in like the hundreds mm -hmm. and roughly what's the age range of the people there yeah uh, if i'm not mistaken you have to be like Six, you have to be 16, to I know. But you were there, yeah, so I'm wondering how old did so, the people yeah. around you appear to be? That's sometimes hard to tell. I, I, would, I would say the mean age is probably around like 20 to 23, but there are guys, you know, in their early 30s, and there are some teenagers there. But I would say pretty much like in the 20s is what you're looking at. Now, again, we're understanding that... Uh, Someone is, is is saying that, and we have not been able to to confirm any of this eyewitness uh, accounts. But but I'm being told that someone said that there was a gamer who lost a game and quote went crazy and started shooting up the room. What can you tell us about that? I, I really wouldn't say that he like went crazy and just started shooting up the room because I mean I've I've been doing this for quite some time and people get mad when they lose and they get irate and there's always people arguing. But the community itself is is really like together so i would really more so say that there are multiple guys who are like upset or saying that things are bs if you will and because of that like there's so much hearsay going on but i can't tell you i know i know the person was a gamer for sure i know that they did lose for sure and i, I don't know if they came back and i don't know if they went to get a gun i don't know if they already had it on them i i really, I really couldn't tell you that how old might this person be i would say in their 20s in their 20s so as I wrap up with you again, thank you for uh, calling us in. How are you doing? Have you spoken to any of your other friends? And I'm sorry that I, is it true that I understand that you lost some friends in this shooting? Uh, unfortunately, I did. Um, it's pretty surreal. Uh, again, a lot of friends are just calling 
to each other to make sure everyone was okay. And I, I do know that a lot of my friends, like that room, there was no way to get out. So I was really confused because I, I was outside the building already. I was really confused how people got out. But a friend who was inside told me that when everything started happening, a lot of the guys actually like barricaded themselves in a very large bathroom and they were just kind of like behind the stalls. So they stayed in there the entire time. There was really no way to escape where we were playing from. Like you, you were pinned in there. And if you were in contact via text uh, with your friends who are still inside, let them know to call 911 as authorities are asking them to because SWAT team is on scene and they will go in there and get them if, in fact, they're still locked inside. Listen, I'm, I'm very sorry for this traumatic event to happen uh, to you. How old are you, please? Don't, don't say your name. I won't say your name, but how old are you? Right. I'm 30. You're 30. Yeah, because gaming yeah. is a big deal. It, it really has no real age range. You've got adults in their 60s who love this. So I understand how important this is, uh, and it, it is to uh, our community. It's a fun pastime. But again, I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for you are having to uh, witness this, experience this there at what should have been a very uh, innocent event, the Madden 19 tournament happening at the GLHF Game Bar in Jacksonville, Florida, at the Landing. Thank you for joining us uh, and sharing your, your story with us. Uh, and you, you be careful, okay, and take care. Thank you for having me, and I just hope that uh, my friends are in everyone's prayers. Of course.